Hey y'all, hope everyone is well and in good spirits on this Friday. Is it afternoon? I don't even. It's 9.40 in the morning. It's pretty rainy and gloomy over here in these parts. Before we get into the video, I want to shout out I See Hair for sponsoring this portion of the video. So I got a Malaysian lace front wig. 26 inches, who am I feeling like? Straight, as you can see. We'll get into that in a minute. But in the box, it comes with, with some eyelashes, this little card here with beautiful ladies on the back wearing their wigs and a wig cap, which I need. Okay, so this is what the wig looks like straight out of the box. It's nice and soft. Like I said, it's a lace front. Got all the typical combs, lace in the back and the adjustable straps. I'm gonna cut the lace off of the back and I'll cut the lace off the front with the wig on. Put the wig, ooh, I need to make it tighter. Okay. It's so pretty, so pretty. So as you can see, the lace is light. <laughs> Honestly, my scalp is about this light. You would need to bleach the knots, pluck, and all of that good stuff. You don't need to, but you may want to. So the hair is beautiful. As you can see, it's so soft. It's not too thick. I don't know what the density is, but it's not too thick. And it's not too thin. 26 inches. It comes a little bit under my boob area. So I went to my daughter's room and found this makeup brush. Well, she didn't, she don't wear makeup. She used to use it when she used to wear wigs and I tried it out and it looks a little better cause this is a little too light. Like I said, my scalp is this light, but still this is, I don't know. It just still looks unnatural, especially because I have a wig on. Um, it's still some product on the brush. So as you can see, I already tried it out right there. So I'm gonna just dab it. Like I said, just to darken it up. It's a little too loose, so I'm going to tighten it up a little bit with the adjustable straps. So let me take this off real quick and tighten it up. So that looks so much better. It fits so much better. It's not so loose. It still is loose because I don't have any glue or anything. And I don't think I need any glue because it lays flat. And this worked like a charm. This looks so much better. I honestly can walk out the house just like this. What y'all think? This is a nice affordable wig. I don't even have to flat iron this wig or anything. It's a little bulky around here because I have locks in and it's not as flat. Yeah, this is just an affordable wig. Very good quality, like I was saying. Um, you may have to do a little bit of maintenance to it, but for the price of this wig and the quality of the hair, I think it's worth it. Definitely would recommend it. I will leave all the links and the details to this wig down below in the description box. You can head over and check them out. Okay, so we got the Christmas tree. The rest of my decorations is up in the front. I'm mainly using all of the decorations that I bought from Hobby Lobby, so that's still in the bags up in the front. The mirror is gonna stay there. The tree is gonna go here, but when we take down the tree, I'm gonna put this in the corner here and I'm probably gonna buy like a chair and a plant to go over there in this area and some decor to go on the wall. But for now, the mirror is gonna go there and the tree is gonna go right here in the corner. I don't think I showed y'all the um, shelf yet. So this is contact paper, like I told y'all a couple days ago. But I think I'm gonna change it into this contact paper. We already had this, cause we used, Cleveland used this a lot in his room. Yeah, I think I like this better. I don't really care for the light brown. Can you hear that? So it's like grooves, like real wood. And all I do is just basically spread this all the way out the length of the shelf. I will put this like that so I can fold it over. Well, I will start it out like that so I can fold it over. And you see I have all of this access and all I do is just fold it under. <laughs> Oh, Christmas tree, the leaves are so 
y'all today is Tuesday and I just got finished recording a whole grocery haul that video will probably be up before this one so check it out if you haven't already and now it's time to put up this food like this is just from Trader Joe's and Whole Foods got more over there on that counter I already did the food that I purchased from Publix away already because I needed space the girls are over here watching what's this y'all watching the new Clifford. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, oh, I want to watch it. I can't watch it right now. I got to put this food up. So this is what the living room looks like without all the lights or whatever. Because I think I just left y'all hanging a couple of days ago because I was cramping. I didn't. I didn't even feel like putting the Christmas stuff up, but I had to get it out of the way because I got a lot of other stuff to do. So I just wanted to get this up out of the way. Y'all see my little Mickey gingerbreads, Mickey and Minnie gingerbreads down here. I, um, I still haven't did anything with this silver yet. Um, I'm either going to cover it in the wood contact paper or white. The tree turned out so pretty. I'm loving the colors, just nice and neutral with the tree skirt. I do have my Christmas tree hooked up to this Wi-Fi plug. So basically you just download the app and you can control whatever's plugged into this plug. So I have my Christmas tree and I do this every year. I have my Christmas tree on a timer. I, I got it to automatically turn on at 6.30 p.m. and to turn off at 11.30 p.m. And this is so convenient too because first of all, it's on a timer and you don't have to remember to, you know, plug up your Christmas tree every day and unplug it every day. And I do got these twinkle lights on. Let me turn it on real quick. So I think it's a, yeah, it's a little um, button over here. And I got these twinkle lights. Ugh, hold on, y'all. Trying to find a button to the twinkle lights. Oops. Okay. Ugh. Okay, I got these little twinkle lights that I purchased, I think, on Amazon. It's like a string of them. And I think they're like probably like $12.99 and it just make the Christmas tree pop because the lights on this Christmas tree don't twinkle or anything. You see how that's so much better? Just adding just that little touch and you barely can see them because it's on this like this thin wire so it kind of blends in. Who remember these? Miss and Mr. Fox. I bought these in Ohio so long ago, probably about five years ago, at Home Goods. If y'all been rocking with me for a long time, y'all know I was always up in Home Goods by being right across the street from my house. It didn't make it no better. So I was up in there during there every day. They're so freaking cute. So they've been here for a long time and they ain't going nowhere. And then this bow here, I picked up at Hobby Lobby. I got one on each side or each end of the shelf here. And as you see, I decided to change the contact paper. I like the dark wood better. You can see. And it looks so realistic. I think I told y'all this already, I can't remember. This right here is just one of those little snow blankets. And I got some of that snow, the sparkling snow. I just sprinkled that on there. I don't think I'm gonna put nothing else up here cause I'm not buying nothing else. And I do have the same twinkle light that I have on the tree. And this snowman, I think I got a couple years ago from JC Penney's, I believe. So I just got him up there and then I got that from Hobby Lobby. I just got another blanket. Oh, and then this snowman I also got from Hobby Lobby. That's how that looks. Aw, Clifford. I remember Cleavon and Jalen always watching me. Clifford the big red dog. I got this from uh, At Home. I don't think I showed y'all. And then over here, I think I showed y'all this setup already, I think. Oh, I love the way you can see the tree through the mirror there. And then, yeah, I don't know if I showed y'all this little setup here, but yeah, that's what I got going on over here. And I just added this angel. And then I got a little snowman down here. Then up here, I just got another blanket of snow. And this reindeer I picked up from Hobby Lobby along with the angel. I picked up two of those. Then this I had last year. I think I picked this up at Home Goods. Then in this right here, I think I picked up a couple years ago at, at home. So I'm not adding anything else up here. Let me show y'all my products. I am so proud of myself. This is a lot of products, right? 
So I've been hard at work, but I told y'all, making these products is therapeutic for me, and I love that y'all love them, so yeah here we go so i haven't made any whip soap in a long time y'all have been asking me to bring that back and the rose glow face oil isn't this just so cute it's just aesthetically pleasing it's so freaking pretty for those of y'all who are new this is a rose glow oil it's going to hydrate and moisturize your face it includes rose petals rose hip oil lemongrass oil tea tree oil vitamin e oil jojoba oil avocado oil and grapeseed oil it's going to help with dark spots hyperpigmentation acne all of that all while giving your face that glow so i got some bubble gum whip soap and shave cream because you can use this wherever you shave on your body you can use this so I got strawberry dough whip which is pineapple this is my best seller oh this is the body butter the uh, whip soap is around here somewhere Naya must have did this so yeah the body butter she put the body butter in front of the whip soap so we got the whip soap back there pink sugar what y'all know about the pink sugar perfume Naya wears that all the time. That's actually all she wears. Yeah, this smells exactly like it. So you wash up with the pink sugar soap, put on the pink sugar body butter, and then spray on some of the pink sugar perfume. You are gonna be smelling bomb all day. And then we have the turmeric face wash. Y'all was asking me if I can sell these separately and, and I came through. I got the baby powder. We got some banana. I got some lemongrass. For those of y'all who have sensitive skin and you still want to use some body butter, lemongrass would be perfect for you because it's made with just lemongrass essential oils and that's it. Clean cotton for those of you who like just a nice fresh scent. And I got lemon sugar. And I also got cucumber. This is another nice, fresh, clean scent. I only made 15 of these because I ran out of the cucumber oil. Then I have some fenugreek infused hair oil. So as you can see, it has fenugreek and other herbs in there. I did soak the oil in the fenugreek seeds. I soaked them for about a week and then I bottled it up and I also put them inside of the hair oil so you can get the extra benefits of it, you know, while it's just sitting on your counter. This is also aesthetically pleasing, pleasing as well. So yeah, I got some good stuff in here. I haven't made any turmeric scrub yet, but it will be on the website. So I'm going to have a good deal going on for you guys. And it's going to start at 12 p.m. on Black Friday. Uh, what is that? The 26th? So yeah, 12 a.m. I said p.m. 12 a.m. on November 26th. Also making the Man Cave Body Butter again because y'all have been asking for that. It's going to be body butter slash beard butter because you can definitely use it in your beard and it smells so good. And of course you can use it in your hair as well. Clip, Y'all I got three new purses in. I'm going to put a little clip of me unboxing it. I was going to do a whole bit, not a whole video. I was going to include that clip in another vlog but it was way too long so what I decided to do was just as fast Fast forward it and then I was like I can insert it in another vlog somewhere so yeah I'll insert that clip now one step forward two steps backwards yeah and much your lover who don't use big words yeah Because I know what I want Baby, can't you figure it out What's going on in your heart What's it gonna take for you to love Take for you to love me What's it gonna take for you to show Take for you to show feels, yeah. I've been trying to take it slow But my patience slow Think it's time you let me know Peace. 
yeah, those are my new purses. Oh, I did get a package today from Coach. I purchased some uh, shoes from them. So we'll open that in a minute. Y'all going out on Black Friday? I am not. Uh, but take that with a grain of salt. As of now, I am not going out. I don't know. I might change my mind. It's normal because I know somebody, if I do go out, I know somebody go get on here. I thought you said you would. I might change my mind. I'm staying my butt in the house. I'm too old for this. It'd be super, super duper crowded here because we got people that's from out of town be here mixed in with locals. It'd be way too hectic. And I told y'all, I love shopping, but I hate shopping when it's too crowded. It just, my mood just go from 100 to zero and I'll be just ready to go. I might just stay at home and save my coins. Well, not really save my coins because I might shop online. So here's the Coach shoes. Y'all remember the Christmas tree that I had last year? It was the Mario theme Christmas tree. Um, I'm thinking about putting that up over here in the corner where the plant is. I'm gonna just move the plant somewhere else and it'll fit right there in that corner and I'm gonna use the same decorations or ornaments that I did last year for the tree up in the front because I didn't use a lot of that white ornaments for the tree up in the front. So that's where they're gonna go. Probably gonna have Jay put it up because for some reason he like putting up and decorating Christmas trees. So I'll have him do that tonight. So, oh, it's so pretty. Let me show y'all the packaging, how it looks so pretty. So I got this off, I actually got this off the and this was actually was on coach website not the outlet this was on coach's website and it's so pretty i forgot how much i paid for them they wasn't much though because they were still on sale i believe let me see if there's a receipt in here mm, probably not if it is it's not gonna say nope it don't even say how much they were and i sure enough forgot what the box looks like uh-oh. And I'm also gonna do a giveaway, y'all. I'm also doing a giveaway in this video. Well, I might as well tell y'all now, right? So I wanna give away or buy two Christmas trees for families that don't have a Christmas tree. You know, cater for a Christmas tree, whatever the circumstances may be. Oh, these are cute. These are cute. They look even better. Well, they look long. These might be too big. What did I get, an eight and a half or a nine? They got eight and a half. They look so long. But these are so freaking cute. Now I gotta find a matching purse or a matching purse because I don't have a coach purse with this print. Uh, dang, I'm trying to, so I'm gonna go to the coach outlet and find one. These are so freaking cute. And so you can just comment down below. I don't know, put the Christmas tree emoji. And that'll let me know that you wanna enter the giveaway. You don't have to have Instagram because I know a lot of y'all be like, I don't have Instagram, but I want to enter or whatever. So yeah, you don't have to have Instagram. All I ask is just you put the emoji Christmas tree and thumbs up this video. That is it. And I will pick the winners tomorrow. And I'm going to be doing giveaways all during the month of December. So make sure you have your notifications on because I'm going to be picking the winners quick. But um, let me try these on real quick. I don't even got no socks in here, but it don't matter because I'm <laughs> probably not even going to wear socks with these anyway. These mugs are way too big. Look, this is how much room I got. All of this. Darn it. These are so cute. Oh, I wonder if I put some socks on, would that be any better? <sighs> yeah, I can't get it. Well, I might can get away with them with some socks on. So I'm gonna go on the website and see if they have a size eight. And if they do, I'm gonna just go ahead and order them and then send these back. But if they don't have a size eight, I'm gonna just keep these and make them work. Or nah, I'ma I'm just take them back. <laughs> look at them, don't they look so long? Yeah, this is what the inside looks like. These mugs are so cute. Coach be doing their thing. Well, the total came up to 108.34. Click on them and see if they have any more. And what is this printer doing? Hey, oh, they got all sizes left, okay. So yeah, they're 135 with 25% off. So I'm about to order a size eight. Add to the bag, oops, add to the bag. 
here's some of the reviews. I absolutely love these shoes. They went perfect with my t-shirt and jeans. You can dress them up or down or even with a skirt or a dress. These sneakers are really cute and comfortable. I read the reviews to size down. Ooh, <laughs> I didn't read the reviews. I did and they are a perfect fit. Okay, see. That's where I went wrong. And I usually read the reviews. I recently broke my arm badly. I was not allowed to wear heels and I was looking for a sneaker that was both comfortable and stylish to wear both casual and more dressy outfits. This was it. Very classy looking, good compliments all the time. I love these shoes. I wish I could get them in more colors. All right, so I just ordered them. And I was thinking about, it, I was like, why don't I just give these away? Like, I'm in the giving spirit. Why don't I just give these away? If you wear, I would say a nine, a nine and a half, you should be able to fit these. I'm gonna mail them off just like this. I took my receipt out, right? Yeah, I took my receipt out. I'm about to just close it back up and tape it up. And then I'm gonna send them off to one of you lucky gals. You can fit the shoes and you want the shoes, just comment down below. I don't know, put a shoe emoji. You can write something extra. You don't necessarily have to just put a shoe emoji if you want the shoes or Christmas tree emoji if you want the Christmas tree. You can put whatever you want to add. You don't even have to put an emoji. Just tell me if you want the shoe or if you want the Christmas tree. So for the Christmas tree, I had originally thought I'll just get the address from the winners and then just have it shipped either from Target or Walmart. Um, or Amazon, because Amazon sells Christmas trees as well. I still might do it that way, or I might just give the winners a gift card and then they can go out and buy the Christmas tree. But then I know it's a lot of people that don't have the means of transportation to go out and get a Christmas tree. I, I don't know, I probably just ask the winner, what do they prefer me to do? Either the gift card or just send them the Christmas tree. So yeah, I'm about to end the vlog here because I gotta go make up some more products. I gotta get my website together. I need to send out a promotional email to everybody who signed up on my website. So yeah, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see y'all in the next vlog. Bye.